Today we're going to see how my Meepo Shuffle S, which is right there, stands up as a daily commuter board. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Ronan and I make vlogs and I make product and tech reviews and in today's video we're kind of vlogging but we're also kind of reviewing. If you've been following along with my channel at all recently, you'll know that Meepo sent me their new budget board which is the Meepo Shuffle S or the Meepo V4S. And up until now, I've actually been using their previous generation board, the Meepo V3, as my electric skateboard. And I've been using it kind of as my kind of daily driver. And it's the my main commuter board, and it's kind of my main mode of transport in and out of work at the moment. So today, I'm going to use the new board to go into work and see how it stands up as a commuter board. I'm going to really put it through its paces, and I'm going to be like just checking it out and seeing what it's like and whether or not it's better and more comfortable to use on Irish roads and Dublin roads than my old Meepo V3. So that's the plan for today's video. But before I do any of that, we need to take the dog for a quick walk. So back from walking the dog a little while now and I've had my breakfast and I am just getting ready to head into the office. Okay, so my initial thoughts with the new board on my commuting route is that you do still feel like a lot of the bumps and vibrations on the road but it's really comfortable and it just cruises along really nicely. I said in my last video about this board, like my initial thoughts of the new board, was that my leg didn't get tired or cramp up at all. It is doing that a little bit now. Um, but it's only kind of starting to cramp up, whereas with my old board, I would have been cramping a long time ago. But so far, I'm definitely going over bumps and stuff much more easily and much more comfortably than I had been with the previous board. point out is they're doing an awful lot of road works back there and like there's bits of the road where you kind of have to go on really bad surfaces to really good surfaces and back again and I feel like I'm just cruising along on the board like the moment I'm cruising along it's just over 30 kilometers an hour and like I don't feel like I would be that comfortable on my old board at this speed so definitely I feel much more kind of like locked in and safer with this board than I do with the previous board already uh, I have way more mileage done on the previous board than I do on this board. Currently I've only put 36 kilometers on this board so I still have like a lot of getting used to this board and just like learning what this board behaves like to do. But so far I just feel like it's a more, like it's an easier board to go fast on straight away is what I'm sort of feeling with this board and I'm really liking that. I'm at about the halfway point now on my trip and my board says it's just used one bar of battery on the four bar battery indicator, so about 25%. Before I got up to the top of this bridge that I'm on though, it was actually saying that I'd used two. So I'd say that second bar is going to drain and disappear completely as soon as I get back on the board. Yeah, so far on the smooth surfaces, the board is absolutely amazing. I cannot fault it at all. But just as I come down past the top of this bridge, I kind of get very close to my least favorite part of this entire commute, just because the surface is so bad. It's also just suddenly gotten incredibly windy here right now in Dublin today. Um, but yeah, it's usually my least favorite part of the journey because the surface is so bad. So it'll be really interesting to me to see what the board is like in that environment and to see whether it's the same as the old board, better, or what the deal is. Pretty sure that guy over there is also on an electric skateboard. That's awesome. I never see people on electric skateboards in Dublin. Well, I mean, I've seen like a handful. 
That's so cool. So all this surface down here is super rough and actually as it gets down to the bottom of the hill, it gets worse. So it's gonna be super interesting to see how it feels with the shuffle S. So I'm definitely hearing the road noise much more and I can totally feel it, but like, yeah, it's kind of fine. Definitely not as uncomfortable as it is on my V3. In fact, it's totally fine to cruise along here now and I'm really enjoying this. So this is amazing. This is like transformative in terms of how I commute to work. And like what's great about this whole section is this isn't a problem anymore now. Uh, my legs are no longer cramping up and I'm on the area that we usually make them cramp the most. And yeah, I'm just like feeling really comfortable here. Totally this surface still sucks, but the board is eating it up like it's nothing. And that's the important thing. And then what else is really cool is that awful part of my commute is only really short. And once I get past it, I'm into like my favorite part of the commute because it's just like super smooth for the next like, I don't know, 100 meters or so. So we're just kind of getting to the end of my favorite bit now and the reason this is my favorite bit is just because it's so smooth and just so nice to cruise on but actually when we get past this bit I'm kind of like back into cycle lanes that are on the road again um, and they're totally fine. I don't mind those at all. They're just not quite as nice to cruise on as around here. So depending on traffic lights now, I'm a little bit less than 10 minutes away from the office. And yeah, it should just be like a nice kind of straight cruise all the way in. Surface is a bit rough here, so let's see what this is like. Yeah, fine. Like again, like I can feel the rough surfaces. I'm aware of them. They're not particularly uncomfortable. So this Meepo V4S or Shuffle S, whatever you want to call it, with the new 105 donut wheels, like it just eats up the poor road surfaces really, really nicely. And so far I'm really, really enjoying using this board. Still have a little bit to go, so if I can change it, I will let you know. But otherwise I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the trip. So the board seems to have really lost a lot of power and it's kind of flashing that my battery is about dead. So if that's the case, the range is slightly less than I would have gotten out of my V3. But the other thing is that the weather is a lot windier today than it would often be with the V3. So that could potentially be a factor as well. Uh, but for right now, yeah, I feel like the board has really lost power. Like I'm accelerating and it's just, I'm losing all my power now. So I think my battery is dead, but that's okay because my work is right in there. So if I have to push, which I think I probably do, then yeah, I didn't quite make it. Thankfully I can still push it, but it's not as fun. I'm just 
leaving the office now. I have a little bit of work to do when I get home, but I'm gonna head home now, get some dinner, and then finish my work then. I'm a little bit concerned because the board didn't actually manage to get me all the way in. It died just before the entrance. So I'm a little bit concerned about and I'm curious to see if the board can get me home. It was super, super windy earlier when I was coming in. Looks like the wind has died down a huge amount now. It actually looks really calm. So I'm hoping that the board will take me all the way home. I will let you guys know when I get there. And I'm home. Actually, I've been home for a few days and the first thing I will say is the board didn't make it home. I recorded a clip immediately after I got home, but it was kind of a bit all over the place. So I decided I'd take a few days, think about it, think about what I wanted to say, and then I'd come back. So here we are. The first thing I wanna say is the board didn't make it into work or out of work. So for me, the Shuffle S standard range doesn't work as a commuter board but there's still an awful lot that I really like about this board, so I wanna go through that first. First up, I wanna talk about the wheels and the deck configuration and that combination. So those 105 donut wheels and the stiffer deck really makes the board feel super comfortable when you're on it. And you just feel like you're really locked into the board and you feel like the board is really stuck to the road. So for me, I just feel like it's a much more comfortable board to use, particularly on Irish roads and roads around Dublin where the surfaces are really, really bad. Just it feels much more stable. Like with the V3, you just, you feel every bump and vibration. And like, I'm not saying that with the Shuffle S that you don't, you absolutely feel the poor road surfaces, but they don't take a toll on your legs the way they do on the V3. And you don't get, like your legs don't physically get as tired as they do on the V3. So I think that is, class i think meepo really like have made such improvements between the v3 and the v4s okay now i think i really need to get into the range so the range for me is a problem meepo advertise on their website that the range of the shuffle s standard range version is 10 miles now i didn't get 10 miles i didn't even get close to 10 miles so when i take my v3 into work it records 10.2 kilometers each direction Hey Siri, what's 10.2 kilometers in miles? 10.2 kilometers is 6.34 miles. So there should be a little under four miles range left. When I was going into work, I didn't make it. I was just shy. I'd say I was about 9.6 kilometers away. 9.6 kilometers is 5.97 miles. So yeah, a little more than half of what Meepo claimed the range should be is what I got out of the board. I didn't have far to go, wasn't a big deal. Coming home, on the other hand, the board died much sooner, which means that I was a little over two kilometers from my house when the board died, and I kind of had to push and walk the rest of the way home. So that was not ideal, and that is why I absolutely cannot use the Shuffle S standard range version as my daily commuter board. But in saying all that, that is literally the only negative that I have about this board. Uh, so for me, the Shuffle S standard range version doesn't really meet my needs, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't meet the needs of everybody. If you're going to school or you're in college and you don't need the board to have more than a five mile range, I would 100% say that the Shuffle S standard range version is a board that you should go for. Because I think range aside, it's an absolutely amazing board. Particularly for the price, I think it's excellent value. But then the flip side to that is if you do need to be able to travel more than five miles on a single charge, I can't recommend the standard range version, but I would absolutely recommend spending the extra money and buying the extended range version. I think the extended range version for me would suit all of my needs and I am actually planning on ordering the extended range battery to put onto my Shuffle S and we will see again if I can use the board as my daily commuter board. I'm very confident that I will be able to and I'm really excited to use it as my daily commuter board. But in the meantime, uh, that is all I have to say about the Shuffle S for today. 
So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you've liked it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in my next video.